Hey there everyone, this is Cloud Chief, and in today's video I'm talking about the campaigns that are coming in the next update for March. So to start off, there is a, was it, the Nizzle Isle Uncharted Area campaign. I've never even done the new Nizzle Isle since it was released when uh, I was still playing the game, but, you know, I never got around to doing it, and... Now it just drops, you know, I think at the best level 99 gear, so it's not really worth doing considering item level gear blows it out of the water. Um, but apparently you get uh, an item every time you defeat an NM. Like I said, I don't know. Uh, I still haven't done Nizzle Isle. I don't really even see a point in it. Uh, maybe I'll try it out and check it out. But, eh. Uh, moving on to the next campaign. Next fan came campaign is uh the vigari campaign and uh this campaign is actually pretty cool when you've killed all five bosses and then you turn in the key items to get an item you'll actually get a second item so if you were going about this path to try and get like the tartarus mail now's a good time to try and do it uh considering there's a vigari campaign uh maybe i'll try and uh get some uh Vigari experience so I can make a guide for you guys because I know I've had quite a few people requesting that on I haven't done Vigari in months, so uh, Now might be a good time to do it void watch campaign. This is what I'm most excited about uh, Void watch campaign so whenever you start void watch all lights are capped So all you need to try and do is focus on killing the mob uh, I am going to be using this to finish my all mace. My all mace is probably close to two thirds of the way done uh, in terms of the heavy metal plates and I have like I don't know 35 rift cinders sitting in my inventory so I'm a decent bit uh, done that and I'll be making sure to finish it. Not to mention void watch campaign is just really nice even if you're not trying to finish an Imperium weapon uh, if you just want to make some money, this is a great time to do it. Because uh, heavy metal plates, rift dross, and rift cinder all sell for decent money. And very easy to farm since lights are capped. So, void watch campaign. I'm actually surprised that we're having it considering we had like a mini void watch campaign not even two months ago. So, I'm excited about that. All mace, here I come. Uh, moving on to the next campaign is the Abjuration Dial. It's been a while since we've had this. This is really cool. Uh, just by opening the Abjuration uh, Dial, you'll get an Abjuration. Um, most of the time it's going to be like lower level stuff. But you'll, you should get a couple, uh, you know, 119 high level uh, Abjurations throughout the campaign. So it's definitely nice. Uh, hopefully, you know, some, you guys and myself will get some, uh, you know, like decent body ones. Um, monster rearing campaign it says uh, rearing creatures will be twice as likely to transform during the campaign. I have no clue what that means. I've never done monster rearing, but that's one of the campaigns going. And then there is a hyper chocobo digging campaign. Um, Basically, I think you can just dig really fast if you're into chocobo digging. I've done very little chocobo digging. I do know there's levels in it, but it's like hidden levels. And I know it's better, so it sounds like you're at max level for chocobo digging. Um, I mean, I'm sure you still have your regular level, but I think you act like it's higher level, because you'll just keep digging faster. You don't have to wait for the delay. So... There's that for Choco Digging. So that's it for this month. But so the Abjuration and Voidwatch uh, campaigns are the big thing that I'm looking at. Uh, like I said, I'm going to make sure I finish my own mace. I'm excited about that. If you're working on a uh, Empyrean weapon, this is the month to, uh, you know, take a decent, you know, chunk out of that work without it really costing you anything but time and effort. So. That's where that is, and uh, like I said, abjuration doll. That's a pretty good one. Since all you gotta do is go open the chest, get some, uh, you know, some prayers. Hopefully they remove it on the curse gear, 
And then uh, I'm hoping to do some Vigari. Hopefully I'll have some time and, you know, try and work on uh, getting some footage and get some guides set together for you. Still working on guides for a bunch of other stuff. Uh, this stuff just keeps piling up. Uh, but that's a good thing. That means there's lots of content coming. So, that's it for the month of March. Uh, hopefully you guys will be, you know, like I said, making some progress on your Empyreans. Or if nothing else, you know, making a decent bit of money. Dropping the price on materials on your server. Uh, so, that's where we're at for March. Uh, thank you for tuning in, and may you have success in all you do.